The Anschutz is joining us. Are you from Connecticut? No. Where are you from? New Hampshire. New Hampshire? Yes. Love that just state. Just moved to Connecticut. Did you just look at you? Here. you. Oh, just yeah. five years ago. Oh, do you like it? It's okay. Uh, I love Connecticut. No, no, it's beautiful. Okay, it's a beautiful good. state. No, it is. It really is. All right, and you've got some great tips on, first of all, everything looks so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. The presentation, I, I don't even care what the food tastes like at this point. When it's so presented <laughs> like this, I'm like, thank I'm you. loving it. So we're talking holiday entertaining. We are. We're some... talking holiday entertaining, and I'm going to share with you my five top entertaining tips okay. with well, you. It, which the thing is, you don't have to put on a big, huge meal for people, right? Like appetizers. You really don't. And... Um, appetizers is in now. Appetizers and cocktails, and people just want to get together and have a good time. Right. And I think with my tips, I think it'll help you be successful in your holiday party. All right. Okay. And my first tip is, you're having a party, you don't know what to make. Look in your refrigerator. Stay in your comfort zone. This is not the time to test new recipes. Okay. We will use recipes that we're familiar with. All right, because I got pumpkin, I got pumpkin <laughs> pop tarts in my refrigerator right now. Okay. So yeah, I'm sure there's know. something we can come up with for that. Okay. So okay. Let's not go crazy. Okay. My next tip is. Um, prepare recipes that you can cook in advance. Okay. So you can start in the morning, and then before your guests arrive, we can put them all I'm together. I'm a big, huge fan of doing that. Because, it, it saves, yes. because when you're actually having the party, you want to be around to socialize with your friends. Exactly. You don't want to be stuck in the kitchen. So the right. most stuff you can do beforehand, I exactly. think the better. And use store-bought food. It's available to us. Let's mm -hmm. use it. Mm -hmm. And my third tip is, since we're using store-bought food, let's jazz it up with fresh herbs. Always use fresh herbs. When you look at my recipes here, my bruschetta, I actually chopped the tomatoes up earlier in the day. Added my ingredients. Look at the basil. Mm. Adding That's that great. fresh basil really makes that recipe look delicious. Okay, so how would you make this? You have the tomatoes. I, you have tomatoes, the basil. Tomatoes. I have basil. I have olive oil, balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper, and garlic. That's it. Okay, and then just slice up a beautiful slice loaf up the of bread. bread. You could have them crispy, or mm. we can have it fresh. It's a little too far for me to reach. <laughs> That's okay. Enjoy it. And even my antipasto. I'm, I'm Italian. I love antipasto. Mm -hmm, me too. You have a variety of meats here. You can oh, prepare that you. in the morning before your guests come. You can add in your roasted red peppers, your peppers, your artichokes. I mean, you can even do that the day before, even not the morning. You, you, you can, can do it the last. day before, yes. And then you can just add your, you know, I have some fresh parsley here. You can just make it look beautiful. Gorgeous. Mm. Now, this looks like it's some sort so, of fried ravioli. This is all store-bought. It's frozen ravioli. All I did okay. was deep fry it with Italian seasonings and Parmesan cheese. Before I serve it, I can add some fresh parsley, okay, some fresh parmesan cheese. Did you try one of these? Oh, this is definitely a recipe that everybody will gather around. Yeah. Mm. Gather and again around. here, oh my and again here, my smoked salmon crostini. It's all store bought. Cream cheese. What did I do with the cream cheese? I jazzed it up with fresh dill. I can add capers in it, the smoked salmon. This platter so never this lasts. Is just cream cheese with dill. That's it. On top of bread and a little bit of smoked, smoked salmon, salmon on top. That's it. Oh my How gosh, easy is that? Super fancy, doesn't it? Totally. And super delicious. It is. And all these recipes are on my website, cindystable.com, as well as in my cookbook that was published this summer. Well, yeah, tell us about the cookbook. Yes, it's my Italian inspired cookbook, and it's getting great, great reviews on Amazon. And right. you can get it off my website. So, and this I, is literally store bought cream cheese that you add. That's a great the idea. Fresh yeah. So, adding those fresh um, herbs really pops the recipe. Mm. And, my and then next, how did you um, deep fry the ravioli? You know, I just deep fried it in some oil so you, how for much two oil minutes. You put in I just put two inches of oil okay. in my pot. I did it in batches with Italian seasonings. While they're frozen or do you need to? I did all frozen. You just take them frozen, frozen put them right in the oil? No, I dipped it in um, buttermilk, Italian herbs, and cheese, and then oh, and I actually, totally did, this, I actually did this yesterday awesome. and kept it in my refrigerator overnight and just warmed it in the oven. Wow. So that's so, another great so you can meal. Make, so you can make all these recipes in advance. Mm. And I, I have two more tips. They're not food related, but I did want to share them with you. Stay away from your mother in law. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I tell this to all my friends. Don't pay to have your house clean before your party. Just wipe it down, mm -hmm. vacuum, decorate it with flowers and candles, but pay for them to come after, after your party. Yeah. But the one room you want to focus on is your powder bath. Because okay. people do inspect that room when they're in there. Oh, yeah. So, so you make want sure that you have a nice clean bathroom. Clean. You want plenty of toilet paper, plenty of napkins. I got more people peeing on my yeah. floor than I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And you want it to smell nice. So I don't like having a candle burning in my bathroom. Okay. I just found this at the Red Door in East Hampton. Right. It's a scented bowl. All right. So, I mean, smell that. It will just make that Unfortunately, we're smell. out of time, but That's we love oh, you. Oh, okay. So come thank back. you. All yes, right. thank you. Give her a nice round of applause. Thank you so much, Cindy. Great tip. Oh, thank you.